Hello fellow rogues and alchemists, and welcome to a new little segment called Batania's Tutorials and Hacks. This is the test world for our Batania Garden of Glass series, where I've made several little Batania devices, and I'm going to share with you on how to make them. So I think the most important one that I want to start out with, because it's going to segue into many of the other different farms and devices I'm going to show you how to create, will be spriterless mana transport. That's right. So kind of demonstrate why you might want something like this. Oftentimes you might have mana in a pool, this is your farm, and you want to get it over here. Or, uh, you know, let's say you want to send it really far away. Now normally you could do spreaders, but they're slow, they're noisy. So sparks are the best way of doing it, but this is your maximum distance right here normally of sparks. You can put a Recess the spark on this, it'll go to this normal one, and then it'll go over here to our dominant, which, uh, just to demonstrate that real quick, this is very fast. You can see it's going to go all the way over here and in no time at all, this pool is going to be full. Now, what if, though, you wanted to get it from this pool all the way over here to that farm? You're going to be a little bit harder pressed to do that. So what I've created is kind of a reset mechanism. I'm going to show you how to make that real fast here. To make this device, this wireless redstone, this wireless mana transport, you're going to need to have two mana pools, two mana pumps, one powered rail, one minecart with mana pool inside of it, two sparks, one of them should be recessive. All right, it's very simple. Just gonna put down your pool, or uh, mind uh, rail there in the middle. And then I will have another uh, pool right here. And for our mana pumps, we want the arrows to be pointing towards the rail and then towards the pool. The mana is gonna be going in that direction, okay? And we'll just go spark. Spark. That one's recessive. And then just put minecart with mana pool already in it. And that's it. And then you just make this as many times as you need. So what's going to happen is this side's going to be receiving mana from your farm. And it's going to be put into this pool. It's going to instantly get pumped over here, instantly get pumped over here. This one is recessive, so it's telling it to empty it uh, to keep this pool empty. So, you know, it's going to loop back over here, but anything that goes over here is going to head back in this direction. So, if you had another pool, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 spaces away, and put this here, then the only place mana can really go if it wants to proceed is that direction and that can be demonstrated very easily here by doing this. You can see mana is going both ways but since this one's always pumping in that direction ultimately the mana can only go here and this can be the beginning of another one of these links and you can have this little highway run through your base and it will just passively fill any pools along the way I mean, if we had another one right here and put a spark on it, it would also be getting some of that mana, you see? Because it can't stay in that pool. So, now to demonstrate how this is actually better, pick this up. Okay. Right here, I have maybe your best case scenario. This is a limitless mana pool. This is a Gaia mana spreader. It's got a composite mana lens on it, velocity and potency. And it's uh, about only one block away from this. Over here, we have my, my mechanism, my wireless, my spreaderless mana transport. And way over there, we have the last pool in the chain. Now, none of these have any mana in them. 
this light is going to turn on when the pool is full. And heck, I'll even give that one a head start. Okay? I bet by the time I'm done talking here, that we're still going to be able to get that pool filled way down there before this one does. Okay, let her start. So now the pumps are going. And this is also very noisy, so let's see if we can get ourselves some wool here. Okay, we're not lit yet. There we go, that's better. And we'll just see how long that takes for that pool, for one of these pools to fill. I might fast forward this forest a little bit here. I forgot to put the spark, well, final spark on there. But I bet this thing still beats it. Even so, I bet it still wins. And very soon, it's going to be full. And think about how much of a head start we actually gave that other system. There it is, done, full. That one's full. This one's still filling. So maybe you got a fourth of the way left to go. So now that you have this line, this method of transporting mana long distances, what are you going to do with it? Well, let me demonstrate. Let me take you to the world already in progress. Welcome to the Flower Friday Skyblock server. Yes, this is Skyblock. This entire thing is a Skyblock world and it is completely chock packed full of little farms. And uh, if you like to see the series itself, there will be a link in the upper right hand corner. But first, a demonstration of what we're using our, this man transport system for. We're using it to transport mana out of the slime farm here, which is another design I'm going to be showing you here in a future episode. And um, mana transport is very important to be quick here, because if it doesn't happen quickly, then the mechanism we're using to kill the slimes won't kill. And we're just using this to bring it up here. You can see it's capping very quickly. It's going to power all of our farms. We have tons of farms inside this building right here. And this is our bulk storage for mana. Right here. So, it's a very useful, very handy system. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let your imaginations go wild. I hope you have fun with Batania. Check you out uh, next time in the next Batania tutorials and hacks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.